Hello everyone, Chris Lee One here. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing great, having a fan tabulous day today in Minecraft land, but more importantly, your life. And uh, thank you so much for all the support, all of the subs. I've been getting so many subs. Thank you guys for subs and uh, for subbing and, and watching uh, the content I'm putting up. Definitely appreciate it. Well, what am I standing on here, you may ask? I am working on a passive mob spawner. And so I've gotten a little bit farther than when I left off of the last video. I was just going to do one, one section, one layer, but I was talking with my wonderful husband, Cyanide Epic, and he's like, I'm going to do a whole bunch of layers. Like, I don't know, bunches. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just keep going. Well, kind of ran out of brick and had to go get more, and so I'm back. So I'm going to, I think I'm just going to try to do like one more layer and then if he wants to do one more layer or more layers or you know whatever he wants to do then that's totally fine with me but you know it'll be awesome either way we'll get this started this builds for everybody everybody show the wall so i'm over there back back by spawn if you guys don't like know where i'm at I'm over by spawn. This can be a community build. It's gonna be awesome. Just to have, you know, something to go to, and uh, yeah, get ahead, get some XP. I'm really actually looking forward to getting even more than XP, which is kind of strange. But I am looking forward to getting some arrows because I want to go to the Nether and I want to be able to like shoot gas and stuff. And I know there's a lot of ways like I could probably could like create a chicken farm, but then even if I get all those feathers, like I don't know, you still gotta come up with the flint and fall to the ground like that because I don't know how to jump right. And I I don't have good jumping skills in Minecraft. This is just sad, but honest God truthfulness coming at you. Whoops, I don't want to do that. It's the truth. I, I, I don't have good jumping skills, so yeah, parkour, not my thing. I won't make it off of the first platform. I'm, and I'm, you might think I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding. I will not make it. If I do make it off the first platform, it'll be, that's it. That'll be it. And you'll be annoyed the whole entire time. <laughs> so I don't know that I'll do any parkour here, but I mean, probably fine, like, my par parkour skills will be like jumping from one thing. That That's my parkour. That's probably the extent of my parkour. So what am I doing? I'm creating these pads for the mobs to stand on. Well, to spawn in on. <laughs> They're going to be standing because I am such a hospitable person. I'm going to make all these pads for, you know, all my guests. <laughs> Just kidding. All my guests to stand on. So there's plenty of room for everybody. <laughs> and I'm only making it too tall because I don't really want Endermen. And I will get spiders, eh, unfortunately, but that's just the way it is. So, yeah. Gotta get the spidery spides. Oh, look, that hole will not work. It will not work. So, yeah, so these, got, these guys are going to spawn in right there. And... They spawn in just like if you were in a cave, so that's how it works pretty much. So you gotta light everything up around you, but that's, you know, why I like to go somewhere where there's a lot of water around, because you don't have to deal with, hopefully, with as much caves. Uh, uh, say if I would have done it right on land. Now you could probably still do it on land if you built high enough up, like if you went 64 or more blocks up, it probably would work. But uh, yeah. Um, this is going to be my roof. I have to keep telling myself, okay, this is my roof, this is my roof, this is my roof. But yeah. I don't know. Maybe if I get bored, then I'll help him out. But I kind of want to just start getting my stuff. And oh man, it's getting nighttime. Speaking of getting stuff. Huh? Can we do it? No. Alright, I don't want anything spawning in up here. Not yet, any anyways. Any, any, anyways. <gasps> oh, 
Oh man. <laughs> Good jump. That's see. I'm not even Oh, darn it. You know what I forgot to do? Oh gosh. I would do that. I forgot to put my water bucket back down. So guess what I get to do? Oh man, at least I got dirt. I get to do this. I get to do this. I was like, nah, I'm totally going to be good. I don't need to do that. This is what you get. Always have a thing. Always have a way up other than this way. Yeah, I kind of didn't plan on jumping over the edge. But hey, you know, what? things happen. Things happen. Places happen. And Minecraft happens. So, yeah. About that. If I would have found a mesa, I, I probably, and by mesa I mean if I would have found, you know, a particular biome called the mesa, I would have probably made this thing out of that because it's pretty cool. But I didn't, so I digress. Yeah, I digress. Uh, all right. Looks pretty good down here. My inspection is good. Okay. Now before I forget... In the event I decide to go overboard once again, uh, I'll just put it here, I guess. I like putting it on the corner. It's You don't have to put it really anywhere particularly, but I, I like it when it makes this way. I feel like it's easier to get to. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to back this. It's faster going up that way than it is trying to climb or do stairs. I almost think it's faster even than the ladder. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, that will work right there. Okay. <gasps> really? I'm dangerous, man. I'm dangerous with myself. I'm dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Okay, let's see if we can speed this up. I'm so glad I got this pickaxe. Oh my gosh, it's make life so much better. Like I said, I ran out of cobblestone, so I had to go mine for a while. And I was so glad I had this uh, pickaxe. Because I was like, man, this would take me forever. Forever, man. But it was so easy. All right, so. Uh, the next thing when I get done with this roof. The roof, the roof. And see, um, even though I know, like, cyanide or other people are probably going to put a bigger roof on, it's really not going to be hard to continue working on it. It's like, all they'll have to do is um, mine away these two blocks, pretty much, and then they can just keep going. I mean, I'll be, you know, these two all the way through, but, you know, not too bad, not too bad at all. And I'll do that. I don't know, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be really tight, man. Really tight here, everybody. I might not have enough. That'll be so sad. I'll be so sad if I don't have enough. All right, let's get this roof done. Like a boss. So, uh, what are people expecting for? Or presents. You guys got some good wish lists. You got some good wish lists going on out there. I don't know. Uh, I know one person I work with. Man, his daughter is getting a ton of frozen stuff. Every time I talk to him, he's like, "Yeah, well, we walked in the store and there was more frozen stuff, so I got it." I was like, "Wow." I I haven't even seen the Frozen movie, but he's like, "You know, I had to get it." He only has one kid, so she's spoiled. <laughs> of course, and it's daddy's little girl. Of course. Gonna spoil her. <laughs> I don't really have anything on my wish list. I wish. I wish for. I, I kind of wish that it's kind of going to be cold in Florida. That's what I wish for. We'll have a Christmas where we'll at least have to have, like, you know, some sweaters or something. Yeah, that would be awesome. I know that's kind of a weird, a kind of a weird wish list, but 
you know, it's like, it's weird having Christmas when it's like 70 degrees outside or, or more. It just doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel right having a 70 degree Christmas. I don't know. Call me crazy. Call me strange. Uh, you know, I don't necessarily have to have snow on the ground, but I certainly want, you know, oh, well, that darkness scared me for a bit. I thought it, I didn't know what it was. I was just like, ah, that was an Enderman. I was like, it's too early. You're not wanted. I don't know. It doesn't have to have snow on the ground, but I certainly do like me some fall weather. Yeah. Some fall weather is totally good. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to make some hatches. Lots of hatches. Which is why I brought this one along. Because I don't think it really matters. Yeah, it doesn't really matter the color of wood. It's a hatch is a hatch is a hatch. In Minecraft still. So that's just four. Okay, well we'll get started with this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put hatches all along every side. I even have to go down to that level. And I'll remove those things right there. That's just for me to get through. Now that I have the hatches, I can walk on those. And I'll be so happy. And bye bye Babushka. Now you're probably saying, like, what in the world does that have to do with this, this thing? Well, the truth is, is what happens is, and you probably heard it a lot before, but happens is that this um, hatch makes you know the mobs kind of think that hey there's a block there just like me thinking hey there's a block there <laughs> they think oh I can stand there and so they try to stand there but what happens is there's nothing there for them to stand on and they fall off into the water which is exactly where I want them to be in the water so yeah so that's how that happens. That's the way I rock. That's the way I roll. And I just use my last hatch. So we're going to go through a lot. I don't even think I brought enough wood, to be honest. What? Oh, but there's the forest around us. So we'll just have to go and use the forest and replant. Replant, yeah. Got to use it all. And, okay, I'm going to leave me a few just in case I need to do something crazy like I don't know sticks or you know anything's possible really anything is possible okay let's see here oh nice all right so I'm just gonna keep putting these up and then the other thing I have to do is I have to make the little kind of like tube or whatever you want to call it little sh the sh shoot the laundry chute, oh, those will still work, I think, that way. And that one over there. I think that's good. I think that'll get get it. Yeah. At least for this level. Okay. And we'll go. Yeah, see, look at that. Man. I'm going to need a lot. Lots, a lot, a lot, a lot. All right. Well, I'm going to keep working on this. And uh, it's getting close, it's getting to the end, but I gotta finish on um, putting up my trap doors, make that shoot, get my water in. That's the whole reason why I made an infinite water spring, because I gotta put like all these sources of water. Makes it a little bit easier. So yeah, guys, that's what I'm totally gonna do. Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, I know I might have, uh, hope that you enjoyed seeing me work, continue work on this mob, spa, passive mob spawner. But you guys have a wonderful day, night, wherever you're at in the world and uh be safe we'll catch you later bye bye